Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Eden Zero episode number 9. Alright, the previous episode we uh, met the new team member. Her name is Witch uh, of uh, I think Regret she said. And we had a, like you know a whole thing where she explains how Shiki was the demon king now. And every like you know every uh, authority has been shifted to him. All of those stuff and um like wise kind of bails out i don't know where he went and then comes the next part where we go to blue garden they meet the new like you know some old characters for example cecilia and no the, her name was cecilia wasn't it uh the the girl who who's quite like you know who's uh rebecca's friend i think that was her name and labilia uh yeah i think her name was cecilia or, or maybe i'm mistaken anyways um uh, and okay so anyways yeah so uh yeah we they met we met, they met those characters again and labelia kind of went and faced a problem there this came a uh, mechanical uh cyborg ninja and he like you know we had a fight with them and from their conversation i could probably tell that he is somehow connected to the sister that is one of the shining stars i don't know why like you know uh if that's true or not but let's wait for it because they were kind of mentioning her name like you know like calling sister sister and it seems as if she has a mercenary group or something who knows and uh like then we got to actually understand that rebecca was actually kidnapped and the person who kidnapped rebecca was someone who is like a frog frog person living in plant planet gilst and like he's kind of kidnapping these kind of like you know these female uh vcubers now and uh, sister is probably like you know a mercenary group that has been hired by him so let's go to planet, planet gilst and stop everything so yeah guys without further ado let's get started with episode number nine of eden zero so yeah i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go <laughs> oh yeah, the <laughs> ninjas are awesome. Oh yeah, Happy kind of got injured. And the master was also gone. Yeah, let's go. Oh! This girl! Oh yeah, we saw her in the end. It slipped my mind. Yeah. Now, like, she doesn't even have, you know, any way to resist. Like, Happy's not here with her. So... Oh, are these BQBs? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, yeah, these are the characters in the uh, ending. Oh, great. What the? What type of creature is this? There you go, sister. Yeah, like she's one of the shiny stars, isn't she? Yeah. There you go. So these are all uh, sisters, I'm guessing teammates or yeah, something like that. Like most probably they are the mercenaries. Like, like you know, they're, I'm guessing they are being hired by the frog guy. Otherwise, why would they even like you know work for them? Most probably because of like you know being mercenary is the job. So 
something like that. I don't know. Let's see. <clears throat> there you go. I think uh, these characters that we saw here at, at this moment, uh, like I noticed, these were the characters that, uh, like you know, uh, that has kidnapped that has kidnapped Rebecca. So I'm guessing one of them, most probably the lady in the end of that sequence is sister let's see <clears throat> all right Yeah. Oh yeah, the master's not here. Okay. What the hell is this guy? Oh no. Illegal. Wait, what the hell? Oh my god, the, the subtitles are not here. Oh great. Space Outlaws, okay. Yeah. I don't think so. Don't push. Illegal. What the hell? Don't push. So the frog guy is named Illegal. Oh yeah, like they kind of mentioned it in the previous episode, I think. Mm. Oh my god, she's... Uh... Oh my god. Yo, you get a... <laughs> Moscow? What? Um... What? Digital bind, okay. Oh, that thing. Wow, these guys are not... I don't know. Well, yeah, you'd be like, you know, age restricted. Yo, I don't like this guy, like the, the, the guy with the weird mustache. Oh. Okay. Okay, wow, like Okay, uh sister, you should probably choose your like you know henchman a bit properly because this guy doesn't seem like you know. <laughs> Big sis. Yeah. Well, yeah, they're big girls, so. Her voice is very familiar. <laughs> oh no, oh no. <laughs> Beatrice's voice from ReZero.
বিরণ ওকে Yeah, there are a lot of people here, like they kidnapped a lot of them. Mm. Whoa, one, one twenty. Damn, they have a lot of. <laughs> Rebecca even have even have less subscribers than me. Damn, <laughs> I'm sure it'll get more. You know. Hmm. Life of Edens. Wait. Oh. Okay. So. Oh, shield of Edens. Healer and the shield tank. Sword of Edens, Valkyrie. Mind. Next generation. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Oh, he's back. Where was he? Oh, he he brought this girl. <laughs> Okay. Well, she's in, so like, she drops like a samurai, you know. <laughs> when did he even get in, you know? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so this is when I'm guessing Homura stopped him at this moment. There you go. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh Okay. Whoa. Challenge. What did she do? <laughs> Okay, well, that's how they... <laughs> yeah, she's just... Okay. <laughs> oh, great. What now? So, what was the condition? Yeah. Ah... Uh, okay. Well... <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> okay, well. <laughs> but yeah, like okay. Hmm. I'm guessing she's yeah pretty strong. Okay, Homura obviously is self-explanatory fire. Like I think Homura means embers, like you know, in like Japanese. Like you no, know, are they called embers? Like flame embers? <laughs> oh my god they're like okay yeah this place is pretty you know like skeletons here skeletons there yeah not a be best tourist spot you know whoa like What the hell are they being like? Okay, this is pretty serious. I can feel like it. Oh, great. This guy is. Wait, one thing I really do not get, why is sister doing that? Like, as, as they said, wasn't sister supposed to be a good guy? Maybe like these guys are kind of like not telling her everything. You know, and doing these kind of things, not letting her know. Like, I was thinking they, they were just a mercenary, but they seem pretty like involved in everything. Oh, great. <laughs> yeah, that, that's Beatrice's voice from ReZero. Oh, great. <laughs> I'm not that big of a fan. Wow. Wow, great hobby. Oh god. What the hell? What ha so they're petrifying them. Yeah, they're petrifying them. Oh, God. Oh, great. Yeah. So are they alive inside or are they dying like this? Wow. Ah. Oh no, what the hell? Oh, wow. Okay. Like, when will S Shiki come in? Like, Okay, are they here? 
Ok, dê, dê. Rogue out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're saying. <laughs> Yeah, we saw that. So there are no like you know like no law and order here. Oh, he did. Okay, he helped. Okay, that's enough for now. Hmm. Damn. Wealth of wood eater. Oh, wood. Oh, okay. So this is wood. Like we saw earth and water. Make dress. Whoa, not yig dressel. Mm, well, they are here technically, but you know. Hmm. Well, th those are. <laughs> yeah, that's a life of a YouTuber or BTube, BTuber, you know. Wow. <laughs> Yeah. Oh wow, there it is. Oh, is sister here? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think sister is here. Like, this is a church, so you know. Whoa. Yeah. What the? What the? I don't think so. What? Well, you don't need an answer, so why did you ask? Yeah, I think this is sister. Oh god, the subs are messing up again. Whoa, she... Oh, there, there she is. Wait, she's here, so, like... Okay, I'm, I'm sure we'll get our answers next episode. Like, my biggest question here is, like, does she even know that what is happening? Like, you know, like, what her underlings are actually doing? I don't know. Let's, let's wait for it, because... Because she seems like, you know, she, she's in this church here. So... Who knows, maybe they are not letting her know and doing these kind of stuff behind her back. Alright, so... Nothing much happened this episode, this is basically the introduction, not introduction, but the preparation episode where we got a background of what's actually going to happen in the next episode. So I'm guessing the next episode will probably be them interacting with sister. And we'll get to know like what actually is the deal here, you know?
like are they really like working for illegal or are they like just uh like an independent group and she doesn't know like what's actually happening her underlings are doing like you know taking stuff in their own hand because uh the guy the the the, the who, what was that i forgot his name i don't think they even mentioned his name the one with the weird mustache um okay that's the end um the one with the weird mustache now he he seemed like one of the like you know worst scums and like the other two that is the uh, like you know the cyborg ninja and the what was that guy moscow <laughs> moscow or something like there's something like that those two uh we like i think uh the cyborg ninja is okay like you know like i think he's kind of like uh neutral type of person not neither evil nor like you know good something like that and the other guy i i barely know him like you know like we just saw him for a couple of seconds so i can't say anything about him but like the guy with the mustache is definitely bad obviously like he's evil and so like as i'm thinking like if uh you know uh, sister sister is the leader of this group like now if you know technically they are living in planet gilst and as they say like you know the gilst planet is like the den of criminals and like sister is supposed to be the leader of the group rogue out so they're supposed to be bad like you know so but you know like what's actually bothering me the thing that's bothering me is like like you know like she is like what can i say like she's supposed to be the one of the four shining stars so like i really cannot actually picture her as being bad like you can understand what i'm trying to say like you know we saw witch and like we saw her personality you know her like you know we saw how she is like comparing her to witch like i really cannot picture sister as a bad person so seeing everything that is happening here which is like you know making the impression that yeah these guys are very bad i really am unable to digest the fact because sister is su supposed to be the leader of that so like you know that's so called group like the, the the rogue out which is composed of these evil like you know characters so that's why i'm really unable to picture six sister as the bad person and let's see like you know like i i like i'm just uh, guessing everything at this point uh, i'm sure we'll get more answers in the next episode and like get to know what actually is the thing like my bet is something must be happening here because i really cannot see uh, like you know sister as the type of a bad person as we saw her underlings to be you know not the underlings the underling the, that one particular guy let's see all right so this episode um uh, we see uh yeah we see them being kidnapped and we met a lot of b cubers in this episode um uh, most of them have been like you know captured from blue garden i'm guessing like they went to blue garden to kidnap so i'm guessing everyone was there at that moment and they got kidnapped and uh like just a sec um yeah and uh we see how like you know like what this illegal this this frog thing his plans he he has no like you know big plans he just wants furnitures which is like the way like you know what this is really reminding me of not reminding me of but this is really making me realize something uh <laughs> this is not as like you know what can i say like i cannot find the word to properly express this like like comparing this to fairy tale i can feel that this is a lot darker like you know like the vibes that i'm guess getting from especially this episode i doubt i ever felt something like this in fairy tale i don't think so like you know like not only the fact like you know they are like being like always in fairy tale as well like lucy has been kidnapped quite a like you know quite some times and a lot of things have happened but 
nothing like this but like in the end like fate got a little bit darker especially in the during the tartarus arc you know like when the whole like you know El elsa thing came in when elsa was being tortured like that was like like that was i think in my opinion that was like the most darkest thing that fatal like you know ever went in that direction but that was still extremely tame compared to a lot of dark like you know like animes like that was extremely tame but still like um, like you know like in fairy tale standards that was pretty dark but like seeing this episode i get this weird feeling here that yeah this this is this has very dark undertones uh like especially the whole like you know scene where they were like petrifying the uh the girl like that was pretty messed up and the whole thing of like you know these guys are actually like, you know like like you know kind of bringing them here just so that they can be petrified into furniture and they have been like you know like i'm i'm guessing they are like you know being worked too much because uh, we saw that lady in the beginning who like fell down and went like you know became unconscious in front of them i'm guessing they must like you know have been working them too hard or something something like that and like yeah like this this went a little bit in a darker direction like i was not really expecting something like this like i was just I was thinking like oh like they're going to take them to this you know this person here and they'll be like you know like oh, the, there will be like uh tense moments but it will be kind of like uh mixed with comedy as we saw in fairy tale you know like uh, especially in fairy tale in the beginning where like for example in, in the big i'm talking on the beginning few episodes where like lucy was captured and all like you know uh, i cannot remember the uh, actual episodes but uh, you know like when the first time when lucy lucy was actually captured and natsu went and saved her and she kind of jumped from a tower and you know fell on natsu i forgot everything like it's been a while i've seen fairy tale but still i remember that thing like you know at that moment lucy was also also captured but I was thinking it would, it would be something like that you know like it was like kind of mixed with comedy and all like the, the whole kidnapping thing was very lighthearted and we knew that he yeah, had nothing like you know like this is very like you know uh, what can i say like very um like you know mixed with comedy and like it was very uh, i don't know like tame tame yeah uh does, did not have so much like you know dark undertones but this episode okay um yeah like my expectation completely got overturned because after the the, the chair the you know the, the petrifying scene i could feel like yeah this is this is some like you know pretty messed up stuff that's happening here and like this is not good i have to say like i'm quite impressed at this because you know like like what can i say like it, it's quite new you know like it's quite new especially like because i never expected something like this in hero mashima's work you know like i, I remember that in fairy tale mashima never showed blood you know like she, he never showed like you know anyone bleeding or something like none of it was there i think in the end there was like one or two episodes where we kind of saw blood that was it like you know so like you know that same person hero mashima like making like you know eden zero and here we like are like we're barely at the start and we are seeing an episode like this where they're basically being kidnapped and like you know kind of like taken in this uh weird planet where where like it's a den of criminals where they know no one and they are being restrained and then they are being stripped of their like you know clothes and being petrified just to you know fulfill the fantasy of a frog so yeah this is pretty messed up and yeah i think i think this is quite new especially for like you know hiro mashima's work and i'm really like you know interested in how he like you know how he'll make this work and like i'm very impressed with obviously like the whole space travel the whole science fiction setting and like this is like you know like i'm looking forward towards actually obviously like shiki is going to come and save them but like i'm sure like stuff like this like you know these kind of like stuff which makes you feel uncomfortable like you know this kind of which has dark undertones these type of things i'm sure we'll get these more in the future as well
like this is not probably it we'll probably get more of these things so that's why i'm saying like this is quite new especially like as a hero mashima fan i think uh yeah i'm i'm really looking forward to how this is going to go how he's going to make this work anyways and uh okay and then uh obviously we met Hom homura here and her name is pretty like you know like her power is pretty self-explanatory like her name homura which means uh fire embers i think and you know like that's why i'm guessing she has the fire ether gear and she talks like a samurai she, i'm sure she's like a like she has a katana or something i did she have a katana uh, i cannot see it but I think so like probably in the openings i saw i don't remember but i saw like her having a katana or something anyways i'm sure like you know like we'll see in the future episodes but yeah like she really talks like you know like the way samurais talk like uh like you know the the way they talk uh, that there's this weird kind of a uh, not weird but uh special like a different type of a uh, way they speak and she's talking like that and her the, she has a little <laughs> like funny thing going on like she <laughs> says whatever that comes to her mind <laughs> this will be interesting you know <laughs> oh god so <laughs> so homura will be very bad at you know uh, what are you, what are what are those things called like um customer um customer service yeah customer <laughs> She'll be very bad at customer service, you know, she can't get any part-time job at, you know, like as a waitress or like some kind of, uh, <laughs> like, you know, like whenever like she gets like, you know, mad or something, she's going to just say it, blurt it out. <laughs> and that will be very bad for customer service. So yeah, she can't do those things. <laughs> oh my God. Anyways. Um, yeah. And then, uh, Okay, what else? And then in the end, we see them going to the church where, oh, and we also get an explanation of how, uh, like, you know, the, the, the different, like, you know, the shining stars have different roles, uh, which is uh, the armor or the shield, uh, the shield, which is the shield, uh, sister is the life, which is like healing, um, Valkyrie is the sword i think yeah i'm guess and that means offensive abilities i'm guessing and um what was that uh what's her name i forgot what, what was the other girl's name hermit a uh, hermit was that was it hermit i can't remember i think it was hermit but yeah she is the mind i don't know actually what mind means but i'm guessing it's somehow related to um mental i don't know like something most probably um maybe like you know in a spiritual something or i don't know like i'm just guessing at this point but yeah like these are like the specialities and we also get to like we also get to know that planet guild is a wood ether you know abandoned planet just like uh as blue garden is water ether abandoned and norma is uh mm, earth ether yeah so this is wood ether so it's interesting to see like you know like it's not just the basic elements like you know fire water earth uh, wind not like that there are also wood ether and obviously like you know we also have ga gravity man like you know gravity ether gear so like wood is something that's pretty normal i'm guessing so i'm guessing we're going to see more variants like this like who knows maybe there will be um, i don't know uh some other type of like you know speciality type of uh, an element just like wood maybe uh what what else i can't even find anything to tell you know an example um anyways like you know like you guys are understanding what i'm trying to say like, you know these type of special type of uh ether uh, elements we're probably going to get in the future as well and uh, yeah and then in the end we meet sister here now the way she introduces us is extremely weird as she is actually basically 
inside us like you know the, the the big statue and so does she does uh, do that to everyone who come here for the first time like you know get in the church she asked her, do you want power do you want money like you know like these kind of things <laughs> i'm guessing so and like you know she shows herself and we see her like you know sister now one thing i have to say here is looking at her we barely know anything about her but looking at her and i don't know looking at uh like you know the fight that she is has like, you know the the type of personality that i can probably guess from her is she's pretty i'm guessing um what do you call it serious you know and it's really unusual for like you know person like that to be actually engaging in these type of like, you know illegal activities i'm not so sure but like i don't know why but i i feel like there must be something going on because she doesn't seem like a person who would actually do these kind of things like she might be a leader of rogue out you know she might be the leader but i don't know like i'm just basing everything on like you know her appearance and the way she, like you know we know her the the the, the like you know we listened to uh, we listened to, uh, what can i say like we heard about her from which and everything that i'm saying is basing on that so that's why like i really am unable to accept the fact that like, like the group that she's actually leading is doing these kind of things and helping a frog fulfill his fantasies I and mean, obviously i'm guessing they're doing this because they're being paid you know like like i'm guessing the frog is paying them so otherwise what else is the reason so yeah like let's see like you know let's see what actually happens and who know like i don't even know like you know like i'm also curious as to why she's actually even like in this uh, you know what like yeah like which was kind of dormant in the ship after ziggy went away i'm guessing like everyone went on their own way like uh which was became dormant in the ship and was kept there uh, sister probably like started wandering around and came here and like made her own group or something who knows what Val where valkyrie is and who knows where the other lady is uh, i think her name was hermit like they also maybe like went away like you know and started doing their own thing probably that's what happened you know like when a group disbands like the ind individual like members they like they went go on their own way so something like that most probably happened and this is basically what she's doing now who knows maybe that's it but yeah okay so yeah that was this episode and the new characters like we get, got introduced to a lot of new characters a lot of new characters like you know even though a lot of them are i'm guessing side characters but you know like still like the main characters we got introduced to was uh homura obviously and she's pretty in interesting you know <laughs> like uh i don't know i'm guessing she's pretty strong as well like she looked pretty strong you know and also we got introduced to the mercenaries which i'm guessing are working under sister one of them i really do not like the mustache guy and the other two i still cannot say anything about them so yeah and uh, also the other b cubers and we also got to see the <laughs> subscriber count and i guess a few of them had like more than 1 million subscribers something like that <laughs> and rebecca was like 105 or something and uh, now you know what <laughs> i don't know like maybe if like you know rebecca does something here and like you know help them <laughs> who knows maybe maybe like you know after they go back to the planet and uh, they'll kind of like tell rebecca to like come and do like we'll do collabs or something <laughs> maybe that's how rebecca's subscriber count will go up that'd be good you know like <laughs> like i guess like they're, 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 like there are like so many of them you know like so many like great like you know big viewers here so after probably they'll get out of here surely they'll get out of here like because shiki and homer are here and after they, they go back home 
who knows maybe maybe they'll just like you know invite rebecca to come and hang around and like join them for a collab and boom <laughs> rebecca subscriber count <laughs> like in one day like you know like he'll she'll gain like 100 subscribers and all and then it'll like slowly escalate and escalate and she'll make her own thing like you know like she'll make vlogging videos like going to uh, find mother and everything and that's how she'll finally you know get her 1 million subscribers <laughs> anyways so yeah that was it guys so that was my reaction to eden zero episode number nine so yeah if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button and also subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to tell uh, like let me know i'll definitely check them out so yeah and also uh the sub subtitles in this episode were a bit messed up uh, especially in during two times but but the translation was okay i guess but uh like you know in certain sections the sub subtitles didn't even come like you know it just completely went away so i'm still struggling to find the like you know the group who actually like you know provides proper like you know subtitles like fan subs and uh, like uh, the group that i'm actually following now they did pretty decent like you know uh, subtitles but in today's episode i i found it was a little bit like you know like what can i say weird in certain sections as as we saw you know the certain sections the subtitles completely did not come even so yeah like like it's quite inconsistent in my opinion let's see like you know like uh, like i do not have any problem understanding because obviously i i understand japanese quite a bit so like at that moment i could obviously understand what's happening but like it, still it's pretty like you know like weird suddenly like you know seeing the subtitles not coming at all so let me let me see like you know i'll probably try in the next uh, uh like you know from the next episode i'll try to find another group or i'll see if this group like you know provides proper subtitles or not and i'll continue with it let's see so yeah anyways so yeah guys thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next uh, in, in next week with another episode of eden zero so until then goodbye and have a nice day